whereas I feel like those little thoughts that come into our minds, they're coming from our heart. It's something that our soul or spirit truly desires, but it is very shy, you can imagine. So it's not really screaming, do this, do this. Sometimes it does, but most of the times it's like, do it, go, try it out, reach out to that person go for that opportunity. It's very, very quiet. So that's why we have to be very attentive to it. Welcome everyone to Life with Lisa podcast. Our mission at Life with Lisa is to share people's stories and the challenges that they have overcome so that those who are listening in can get the strength, the courage and the hope to be their better selves. Today we have a special edition episode and I'm your guest and I'll be sharing my stories, my experiences and I am so happy to have you here, you, you, you listening, being here, either you're watching this as a video or as an audio and um, you're dedicating your time and energy into becoming your best self, you're taking action, I'm so proud of you, keep up the good work. I wanted to chat with you today about such thing as continuity of life and letting the life flow in its flow. That was not the best use of my words. <laughs> but what I wanted to share is so many moments in my life, in so many moments of my life, I felt this impulse to do something that was very spontaneous. It was almost like a small idea or a small thought popping into my mind. And then it it is so quiet that it's, very easy to just completely misregard it. For example, I would be sitting and working and then I have this thought that I should go to a dance class, I should sign up and just do one dance class because it will give me so much energy and I really love it and I'm, I would really enjoy it. And it just, but it's a tiny thought, it's one thought that comes into your mind. But then what I do whenever that does happen, I listen out for that and then I just do it as fast as possible, I just do it. Because I feel like when you start overthinking things in life, you can rationalize yourself out of it. Whereas I feel like those little thoughts that come into our minds, they're coming from our heart. It's something that our soul or spirit truly desires, but it is very shy, you can imagine. So it's not really screaming, do this, do this. Sometimes it does, but most of the times it's like, do it, go try it out, reach out to that person, go for that opportunity. It's very, very quiet. So that's why we have to be very attentive to it. Sometimes it could also be about booking that travel or going to the person. That's something exactly that happened in my life. I remember I was like, I feel like I should go there. And then I just book the tickets and go. And then whenever I waited any time, <laughs> even like an hour, even in that hour, you can start rush rationalizing yourself out of it. You're like, oh, but it is expensive, or I'm not sure why we should even do that. I'll do it next time. And you rationalize yourself out of something that you're meant to be doing, something that your heart is truly desiring. So by this video I wanted, by this episode, I wanted to inspire you to become more attentive to that inner voice of yours that tries to give you guidance towards living up to your full potential. Because that voice sometimes pushes us to do things that we are not very comfortable with or we don't really want to be doing. It could, it could push us to pursue the opportunities that are very challenging. It tells us to quit doing the things that no longer bring us energy but are in our comfort zone and our safety. So that's why it's so easy to rationalize ourselves out of it. And we will rationalize ourselves out of it because we do tend... So something that I, I think describes it the best in the best way is that our brains were made, were designed in the way to make us safe, to make us survive. They were not designed to make us thrive or have the happiest, most fulfilled life possible. So sometimes that's why your brain kind of drags you to safety. And what you need to do is to realize, okay, that's fine. But if my dreams are here, they my dreams are here outside of my comfort zone. I do need to actively take steps that could be against 
against our brain, against my brain, against your brain, against our brains. So I just want, I want to give you this food for thought because it's so important and it has served me so well in my life, those impulses, whether it was buying a, a one-way ticket to Paris and moving to Paris because I felt like that's something I had to do. And I knew that I'll figure things out along the way. And that's the second part of it. To have that trust in yourself, and that comes from building a relationship with yourself, knowing that you will be fine because you can handle the issues that will be coming your way. Because you're strong enough, you're reliable, you'll figure it out. And having that belief about yourself backed up by real experiences, because if you're not following up on the promises that you make to yourself, you will not have that relationship with yourself and you will not be able to do and follow those spontaneous ideas of yours that your heart truly desires. Because how can you trust yourself if you are always breaking the word that, that you promise to keep to yourself? If you told yourself that you will work out and then you don't work out, how, how you can know that you can trust you? But if you follow your word regardless, way, man, you have so many opportunities that are coming your way because you will be brave enough to see them, to jump onto them and go in this beautiful journey of life because life is very flowy. I think sometimes it's also very good to go with the flow of life. Some things are not working out on purpose and it's still something that I am trying to better understand, to understand better. Basically, when I need to just push harder to go all in and sometimes when I just need to like let it go and take a step back. Because, for example, if you are looking, when I was looking for the job, I was originally looking for a job as an accountant. I wanted to be an accountant. I didn't want to be an accountant, but I thought that's the job that I'm more likely to get which is quite funny. So I was pushing so, so hard and I was literally getting rejected, rejected, rejected. And then I just took a step back. I let it go. And then I look at the station and then I realized it's all happening for a reason because I hate accounting. I don't want to be an accountant. Of course, I'm getting rejected from those jobs. Thank you universe for not giving me that job that I would have hated otherwise. So that, by that I mean going with the flow of life and then by that I mean listening out to those small signals and listening out to the small signals that push you towards the best life that you can create for yourself because I do feel like we all have a moral obligation to become our best selves and to bring our talents to this world because all of us have our unique talents and our unique talents are based on us being ourselves brought up in exactly the way that we've been brought up born in this time this age in that country where you've been born you have those unique talents listen out to that inner voice of yours go with the flow of life know when to push harder when to let go and um, build that relationship with yourself I almost feel like this podcast became an inspirational speech and I hope it does inspire you. Thank you so much for listening in. I appreciate you so much and that you spent your time watching this, listening to this, and I hope to see you in the next episode. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and share it with a friend of yours or anyone you think could benefit from this video.